So longitudes and latitudes is a topic we have in mathematics and uh, basically about the longs and latitudes in the calculations of the distance along the sphere or rather the globe. And uh, this is the globe, the sphere, it is seemed to be circular and as a sphere we usually have the north, we have the south, we have the east and we have the west. So when you talk of the longitudes, longitudes we say they are the lines which run from the north to the south in the sphere. So we have the lines which run uh, this way from northern to the southern. So this is what we call the longitudes. That's what we call the longitudes. And again we have the latitudes. The latitudes they are the lines which run from the west to the east. This way along the sphere this is what we call the latitudes. That's what we call the latitudes. Uh, another term we need to understand, uh, we usually have the major longitude which cuts the sphere into equal parts and it is called the prime meridian or the greenwich meridian. So greenwich meridian. So these are the, all of them from north to the south they are the longitudes, but the one which cuts the sphere into the two equal parts is what we call the Greenwich Meridian, and we say it is at zero degrees. So from this zero degrees to the east side, we can cover 180 degrees. From the Greenwich Meridian to the west side, uh, we can cover 180 degrees as well. Remember the sphere being spherical, uh, we say it covers 360 degrees. Again, we have the the major latitude, the latitude which cuts the heart into equal parts, and uh, the major one we call it equator. It is equator, and we say equator is at, at zero degrees. So from equator to the southern part, the extent we can go is 180 degrees to the northern part, and we have the southern part we can go 180 degrees as well. So you find uh, 180 plus 180, they land up to 360, which basically is the total degrees covered by circular uh, polygons. So the sphere, that is it. We talk of the longitudes and the latitudes. So the first uh, subtopic we are going to study under the longs and latitude is what we call the location uh, or showing the positions. Let me write it here. Showing positions on this sphere. Showing positions on the sphere. And to show the position of the sphere, we say uh, positions, positions on the sphere are showed, showed using an ordered pair an ordered pair of latitude and longitude in that order. In this case, x and y. Meaning, we start showing the position of latitude this is by x, and then we go to show the position of the longitude represented by, by y. What do you mean? Let's see some example. Show position m position M, and you maybe may be told position M is 60 degrees north, 30 degrees east. So to show that position, this is latitude and this is longitude. So to show that position M on the sphere, what you do, you just need to draft the earth sphere, then you show the major longitudes, that is the great meridian, and again you show the major latitude which is the the equator, which is at zero. So what you do, uh, 30 is the Greenwich meridian, which has zero degrees, and you show the equator, which has zero degrees. That is east, that is west, and that is south. So to show this position M, we have said it is showed using the ordered pair of the latitude. So this is the latitude which is at not northern part. Remember, this is the great, the major latitude. From this point upward, we are counting from 0, 1 degrees north, 2 degrees north, all the way to 180 degrees north. So we can assume 60 degrees north latitude, it is somewhere there. 
then you can show 60 degrees north. That's the latitude. All right. Then we have the longitude, which is six, uh, third degrees east. We have the major longitude, which is zero. So remember from zero, going to the right side, it is east side. Go to the left side, it is the west side. So it is third degrees east. So you can assume 30, it is somewhere there. Then you can show that one is 30 degrees east. So the point of intersection between the two, the latitude and longitude, that is the position of point M, where they intersect. So that is the point, the point M. All right. So showing the positions on asphere, we use that or that pair, latitude and the longitude. The other thing we're going to discuss about this is the distances along the sphere. This amount, because under the long the latitude, uh, the key points we talk about the first thing, we show the positions, positions on sphere, which we have done, we have shown. Uh, other thing we discuss under the long and latitudes that show distances, distances along the sphere. And in this case, I talk about the distances. These can be calculated in kilometers and as well can be calculated in nautical, in nautical miles. And we're going to see the relationships of the nautical miles and the kilometers that they relate. So we're going to talk of the distance along the sphere. Uh, then number three, we're going to look on something called the longitude. Longitudes and the time. Remember, we can relate this simply because we say the earth rotates uh, from west to the east side. And one revolution takes 24 hours, all right? So if one revolution takes 24 hours and the earth rotates 360 degrees, then it will mean if 24 hours covers 360 degrees, then we can create one hour, it will be equivalent to how many degrees? We are create one minute, is equivalent to what? So that is what we are going to to discuss on the long and latitude uh, and the time. Then the last bit you're going to discuss is about the speed. And the speed, we're talking of a speed in the sphere. Uh, it can be either expressed in knots or kilometers per, per hour. So those are the subtopics we are going to discuss in this lesson. So show you the positions of the sphere. We are done with that. Let's move to the next bit, which is the distance along the sphere. And you may find, uh, given two positions on the sphere, we can get the distance along the latitude, and as well we can get the distance uh, across the latitude, and as well along the long, uh, longitude. So let's start with the distance, distance across the latitude. Latitude across the latitudes. So uh, let's have an example question. Example question, example one. And you are told two towns, two towns A and B are on Asphere, are on Earth's. Uh, the sphere, uh, the surface, such that A is at 30 degrees north, uh, 45 degrees west, and B, it is 30 degrees north, then 45 degrees east. Those are the two positions. Two towns A and B are on Earth's surface, so that A is at uh, 30 degrees north and 45 degrees west. Then we have B, which is 30 degrees north and 45 degrees east. So uh, the question calculate calculate the distance between the two points. The two points. In Roman 1 kilometers, Roman 2 nautical miles. Nautical miles. So the first thing students you need to do in this case 
is to show the positions on the sphere. That's the first case. Because the first bit was showing the position on the sphere. So you need to show the position A on the sphere. You have to have a sketch uh, like one here. Then you show the major lines, the Greenwich Meridian and Equator, that is north, that is east, we have south and we have west. Then we start showing the positions. A is 3 degrees north, so you can see the latitude of 3 degrees north is there, and the 4, 12 degrees east, so it is the east side, northwest side. We can assume it is somewhere there. So this is the longitude which represents 45 west, this is the latitude which represents 30 north. So the position of intersection there, that is point A. Then we show position B, and B is on the same latitude with the A, but uh, the longitude difference is the 45 in the east side. So we can have another longitude line, which can assume it is 45 degrees east. And the point of intersection in the latitude 30, uh, there that is point B. So the question is calculate the distance between the two points. So the distance between the two points, uh, we are getting the distance there along the latitude. And the distance along the latitude students, we calculate using the formula uh, theta over 360, 2 pi r cos alpha. That's the formula we normally use to calculate the distance along across the, the latitude, either in the sphere or maybe in the, along the, the, with the ships. So theta, we say is the difference of the longitudes. For example, A, it is 45 degrees west, and the B is 45 degrees east. So one lies 45 degrees of the Greenwich Meridian, and the B lies 40, uh, 45 degrees east of the Green Meridian. So to get the difference of the longitudes, you simply add the two. So angle theta will be 45 plus 45, which will be 90 over 360 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22 pi over 7, multiplied by r. r in the sphere, we say it's the radius of the earth, which is constant, and we say it is 63, 70. That one is constant, the radius of the earth. 63, 70, that's in kilometers, then multiplied by cos alpha. The cos alpha, it is the line where the two points lie. The same because they lie in the same latitude, which is 30 degrees north. So then we have cos 30. So you compute that and remember the values you are going to get, that will be the distance which will be in kilometers. So we can compute that in calculator students very quickly. So we have uh, 90, 90 multiplied by 22, multiplied by 22, multiplied by 63, 70 multiply by cos alpha, which is cos 30, you get uh, 21, 8456664.02 divided by 360, multiply by 7 is 2520. So divide by 2520. What do we have? Okay, we have 21. Eight four five six six four point zero two divided by twenty five twenty, and you get the answer is equal to eight thousand six hundred sixty eight point nine. So that's the distance which is in kilometers. So the distance between A and B. Them being located in those points on the hard sphere, the distance between the two points uh, is 8,668.9. That's in kilometers. And the question was, uh, you get a distance in kilometers and as well as a nautical mile. So for the kilometers, we have the answer, which is 8,668.9. For the nautical miles, we usually have a relation, a conversion relation here that uh, one nautical mile is equivalent to 1.853 kilometers. That's the relation we have. Remember this uh, interconversions, you have them in your figure tables. So you just need to get back on your figure tables or the math tables, the formulas, they are there. So we have the distance in kilometers. So you can just relate and uh, ask the question here. If one nautical mile is these uh, kilometers, how about 
8,668.9 kilometers will be equivalent to what? Then you cross multiply. This will be 8,668.9 multiplied by 1 divided by 1.853. Let's see what we get. So it is 8,668.9 times 1 divided by uh, 1.853. And you get it is 4,678 nautical, nautical miles. Nautical miles. So that's the distance between point A and point B across the latitude. Now suppose we had another point on the same sphere, point C, and uh, in the same question, let's say we have point C and a point C, the position is 60 degrees north, 45 degrees east. All right? So we can have that in the same diagram. I think it is clear here. So point C, um, the points A and B, they lie in the latitude of 30 degrees north. So C, it is the different latitude. So we can say it is a bit up there. It is a sketch. And uh, then you can show that is 60 degrees north. Then the longitude, uh, it's the same longitude with the B because they are both in the 45 degrees east, 45 degrees east. We cannot have two different longitudes. So to mean point B, point C is a point with a section there. That is point C. All right. Now, suppose you get the distance between B and C. Now, what we did here was the distance across the latitude. We need to get now the distance along the, the longitudes. And the formula we use for that, let's create some space. Uh, can have it here. All right. So, um, suppose we get the distance between B, which is 30 degrees north, uh, 45 degrees east, and we have C, which is 60 degrees north and 45 degrees east. So these two positions, they lie in the same longitudes. And the distance along the longitudes, we say it is theta over 360, 2 pi r. So this is the formula along the longitude. All right. The distance across the latitude, we included cos alpha here. Remember the formula for the latitude, it is here. So this one is almost similar, only that we are omitting now the cos alpha. All right. So the distance now with these positions will be theta. It's the difference now of latitudes. This one lies in 30 degrees north. This lies in 6 degrees north. So the difference we will get 60 minus 30, which will be 30 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times r, which is 6370. So we can compute that in calculator. So that is 30 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22, multiplied by 63, 70. Then uh, we divide by 360 times 7, that is 25, 20. And you get the answer is equal to 3,336.67. That's the distance in kilometers. To convert this one to nautical miles, you just need to use this relation of one nautical mile, this one here. One nautical mile is equal to 1.853. So what is uh, 3,336? So we can simply divide this one by 1.853. And you get distance nautical miles is 1,800 nautical miles. So that's how we get uh, the distances along the along the sphere up next is about the the longitudes and the time uh, let's have some space so now um, in the longitude and the time we say the earth rotates at 360 the earth rotates at 360 degrees Part 24 
hours. So with this relation, if 24 hours is equivalent to 360 degrees, then we can uh, simplify what and say one hour it will be equivalent to what? We can simplify one minute will be equivalent to what? So for example, this one, one hour is equivalent to 15 uh, degrees. Then uh, one degree will be equivalent to four to four minutes. So uh, we need to have a question which is, so it will mean the difference of the longitudes uh, can determine the time. And remember on the sphere, uh, when we are proceeding to the east side, we usually add time. We usually add time. And when we are proceeding to the west side, the time we usually uh, we subtract. We subtract. We subtract the time. So we need to have a question which relates to this one. And that brings us to the last example in this subtopic. Example two, which uh, has the the time. Remember in the part B, whereby we have speeds, remember distance, speed, and the time goes in hand. We did the distances in kilometers and as well in nautical miles. So in the speed, when the distance is in kilometers, then speed will be in kilometers, will be in kilometers per hour. All right. When the distance is in nautical miles, then the speed we say it is in um, in knots. All right. Now, for the case of the of the time, remember we have said one degree is equivalent to four minutes. Fifteen degrees is equivalent to one hour and twenty four uh, three hundred sixty degrees is equivalent to 24, 24 hours. That's illustrated. So we need to have an example and try to apply the time and the speed. So let's have a question here. Two air buses, two air buses, A and B are located on the Earth's sphere such that the point A uh, is at 60 degrees north, 60 degrees north, and 38 degrees east. Then we have B, which is the same latitude, 6 degrees north, and 142 degrees west. Then this is the question, a jet fighter, a jet fighter, flew from A to B, uh, taking five hours, taking five hours. So the question is, calculate the speed in knots. Calculate the speed in knots. So to get the speed, uh, with the question we have, the time already we are given being five hours. So the distance is what we don't know, and we can calculate that one. So the first thing we do, uh, show the sphere, the positions of A and B. We have the Greenwich meridian at the equator, then we have point A. Point B is at six degrees north, that eight east. So you can say A is somewhere there, then B, it is there. The values they are given. So we are given the distance across the latitude. So we apply the formula theta over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6370 cos alpha, which is cos 60. So 1 lies uh, at... Uh, a it is 38 degrees east, B is 142 degrees west. So what we do, we add the 2, 142 plus, um, plus 38, 142 plus 38, and you get 180. So here it will be 180 over 360 
multiply by 2 times 22 over 7 times 63, 70, cos 60. Let's get that distance. So that's 180 uh, times uh, 180 times 2 times 22 times 63, 70 uh, times cos 60. And the answer you get, you divide by 25, 20. And the answer you get to be 10,010. That is kilometers. So we need to get the speed in knots. So to me, this distance should be converted to, uh, to nautical miles. Nautical miles, and we have the conversation. So what you do, you divide by 1.853. And you get the distance in nautical miles is equal to 5,402.05 nautical miles. So we have the distance, we have the time, which is 5 hours. So speed is equal to distance out of time. So this will be distance 5,402.05 divided by five and when you divide by five uh, speed you get to be one thousand and eight point four one knots so that's how we get or we calculate the the speed along the sphere in in knots